This is Leonardo AI, and we are going into real-time generation. From the home page, you'll find it near the right in the top row. Now, from the minute we start typing here, it's gonna start generating our image, and it's incredibly cool. So the first thing I'm gonna type is a giraffe. So I'll type A, and look, we have a letter A pop up. Every key we touch on the keyboard, it's trying to figure out what we want and adjusting the image accordingly. So let me finish with a giraffe. And look, we got a giraffe, but that's not enough. I had a different idea in mind. I wanted my giraffe to be riding a motorcycle. Now we've got him on a motorcycle. He's sort of sitting sideways on the street and not really riding. So let's see if we change that up a little bit. Let's change it to speeding through town on a motorcycle. And it still wants to push him that way. So let's change this up again. Instead of speeding through town, let's just say speeding down the road. Oh, there he goes. Now we've got him backward on the motorcycle. All right, I just changed it back up to a giraffe riding a motorcycle. And something else we can do here is come over and click this random seed button. That'll change the underlying seed that's being used. I don't know, I think he might have boots on. This is pretty wild. We'll hit that again. We can say riding a red motorcycle. And now we've got him on a red motorcycle. What if we wanted to be wearing sunglasses? Let's try that. And there we go, our giraffe wearing sunglasses riding a red motorcycle. And that's probably not the use case you're gonna have for real-time generation. It's not that you always wanna go deeper into the weird, like I did, but it is pretty cool, I think we have to say. Where this can be really helpful is when the details aren't popping into your head until you see it. So maybe I'll do something like a house, and it comes up with this, and I'm going, no, that's not what I wanted. That is a house, but that is not the house I had in mind. Once I see this, I go, no, 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 I wanted a, you know, a normal house. So I start to think, what's the opposite of this? And I go, ah, I want a modest, let's say Midwestern. That's a little bit more what I had in mind. So that could be an excellent use for it. And what's really great about this real-time generation is you don't have to type in a prompt, wait, see the four images that it comes up with and realize that all four of them are completely off and not what you wanted at all. And then make a change and then wait and then make a change and go through that multiple times. Once you get the image that you want, you can just come up here to this creative upscale button Give that a click and then your finished image will be in your personal feed. Let's look at another example of this. There I just said a dog and a cat are friends. And it's kind of weird because if I hit the space bar, it'll change the image. If I backspace that out, it changes the image. If you just put a period at the end, it switches things around on you. When you get rid of that period, it'll just confuse me. My, that cat has a bright red nose. But let's try something with the style here. Let's take this coloring book element up and now we've turned our cat and dog friends into a coloring page. We can drag it back down and we'll get some shading and we'll get some colors and more details in there. And the higher we take it, the more it washes out all that extra stuff and just gives us lines to fill in. We can bring that back to zero and maybe we wanna turn this into a kid's illustration. We can zoom that in. Now we have something that looks like it's out of a children's book or a cartoon. The further we take that, we can go all the way up to 1.5, but then it starts to look like just blobs of paint on the page. We've also got tune and anime, so we can cartoonify or cartoonize these guys. Oh, and now we've turned the dog into a kid, so maybe we went too far with that, or maybe that's what you wanted. And then we have folk art illustration. This element will do just that, turn it into a folk art illustration. Usually going too far on these gets you something kind of less refined, maybe? I don't know what the word is. And if we didn't like what we came up with on the cat and dog or friends, we can certainly add to this. We could make this a black cat, and that also gave us a black dog as well. Now, if we specify that we want a brown dog, we've got a black cat and a brown dog. But they don't look like they're being very much friends here, so let's hit our random seed and see what we get. Now those two look like pals, and now we've lost our dog, and these guys look like good buddies, I think. Let's exit the real-time generator here, go back to our personal feed, and take a look at what our upscaled house image looked like. This was the original, and with the creative upscaling, this is what we ended up with. I think that looks very nice. It only took a few seconds, and rather than having to pick from four options, we got to see the design come to life right as we typed it. If you're not using Leonardo AI yet, and wanna 
Join me in the fun for creating visuals for your content creation projects. There's a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so if at some point you end up making a purchase, I may receive a small commission, and I sincerely appreciate it. If you've never used it before, I'd highly recommend you check it out on the free plan. You do get 150 free tokens a day. Now, that doesn't mean you get 150 free images. It depends on how you spend them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.